Hey everybody, what is going on? Fallout here, and today we are going to cover the first raid challenge experienced in the Deepstone Crypt raid. The triumph and the challenge is called Red Rover, and if you complete it, you will get both the triumph completed and a second loot chest at the end of Encounter 1. Encounter 1 being the security challenge where you have to destroy six fuses. Here is the essence of the challenge. Everyone on the team has to be the operator at least once. You can't really fool the challenge by passing the operator back and forth at the beginning. Each operator needs to shoot at least one panel down below in the basement. So ideally, everyone in your raid team should be familiar with how the first encounter works. Everyone should know the basics of which pillars are where, which panels are where, what the scanner does, and what the operator does. Here's how my team did it. We divided our operators up into three teams of two. Each team of two translates to one damage phase on the fuses. Overall, there will be three damage phases. So for example, team one of operators. First, operator one will go down, shoot down the panels for the dark side of the basement, and then send the operator buff back up for their teammate to pick up. The second operator of team one will then grab the operator buff from upstairs and run down to the basement to complete the other room's panels. When both operators of team operator one have shot all the panels, i.e. two in the dark room and two in the light room, then damage phase number one begins. Whoever the second operator was will send the operator buff back upstairs receive the scanner buff from somebody upstairs, and then begin the damage phase as usual. Remember that for this challenge, you might be making things easier for yourself if you only destroy two fuses at a time, because there's going to be three phases anyway. When the first damage phase is over, immediately send the scanner buff back upstairs. Whatever operator from the previous team is left in the basement, try to get the heck out, and then team two of operators get ready to spring into action. The first operator of team two will once again go back down into the basement, releasing the player who is currently trapped in the basement, and begin to shoot the panels in the dark side of the basement. When both panels in the dark side of the basement have been shot, the operator will once again dunk the operator buff, sending it back upstairs for operator number two of team two to pick up the operator buff and go down to the basement to release the player down there and and shoot the two panels on the Lightroom side. Again, what we're really doing is dividing the entire team into three teams of two. And remember that everyone has to be the operator once. So pick an operator buddy at the very beginning of the encounter and make sure that for each damage phase, the operator is going down into the basement and then passing the buff upstairs to their buddy who will come down into the basement and finish off shooting the remaining two panels. Do remember that if you are operator number one for your team, the way that you get out of the basement is that your operator buddy has to pick up the buff upstairs, come over to the basement door, and let you out of the basement. Also, very important to remember that when swapping the operator buff to your buddy upstairs, who is going to come downstairs and shoot two panels, you have to move quickly because there is a timer. If you wait too long, the basement will light on fire, you will die, and the challenge will be failed. So the big takeaways are, every player on the raid team needs to be the operator at least once, and I Ideally, each operator is going to go down into the basement, shoot exactly two panels, and then either if you're the first operator or second operator on your team, send the operator buff back upstairs so your buddy can pick it up and come downstairs to finish the other two panels, or you are beginning the damage phase. I'm sure there are other ways to do the challenge maybe a little bit more fluidly, but that is what my team did. Three teams of two, each operator goes down one at a time, shoots two panels, sends the operator buff back up, operator two of the buddy team comes down, finishes the job, lets the other operator out of the basement, begin the damage phase, damage two fuses, and then rinse and repeat. And that's pretty much it. As long as you remember to limit it to two fuses at a time so you are guaranteeing the three phase and making sure that every member of your fire team is an operator at least one time and shooting at least one panel down in the basement, you will beat the challenge and get the extra loot chest at the end of encounter one. In terms of farming spoils of conquest, I do not recommend this method just because of how long 
long it takes. I would much rather do the farm that I went over in my other YouTube video of farming encounter one at lightning speed for the one phase. I think you should do this for the challenge and for the triumph, but outside of that, yeah, that's gonna be a big hell no. Oh, one more thing. Keep in mind that if you fail the challenge, there will be text in the bottom left corner of your HUD that says challenge failed. So if you are trying to complete the challenge and you see that text, just make sure that everybody wipes and try again. And there you go. Raid challenge number one, Red Rover, easy. If you found today's video informative or entertaining in any way, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on subscribe because it is free to do and why the hell not? Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.